gonna take on the world Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! 
What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No, no. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe is one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. All right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And we land in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters, shelters the, fate the fate of, of the, the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So... We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong?
course it's locked. It's always locked. Karma's a bitch. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist. We find the ships and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <clears throat> Trust me.
Sure, you're up for this. I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. We won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? <laughs> better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. This way. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble, I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is gonna take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. <sighs> Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. You sure you know where you're going? Don't I always? Don't you love the way the water makes your jeans all squidgy? It's like the good old days, isn't it? Yeah. When were those again? Oh, wait. This can't be right. We must have made a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> hey, now what do you bet that will take us right into the boiler room? And from there, we're in. Yeah, in like Flynn, right? What? In like Flynn. I don't get it. Just give me a boost. Here it comes. Thanks. Almost there. You ready? No guts, no glory. Here we go. We're good. Reach up there and grab the ladder. Okay, all right. Yeah. 
Yeah, I dropped it down for you. Well, we're not going this way. Not if you want to keep your skin. All right. There's got to be a shutoff valve around here somewhere. See if you can find it, then. Ah! You got it. Okay, now there should be a door just around this corner. That's our access point. Once we're through, just stick to the plan. You got me? Tell me you didn't miss this. I'm here, aren't I? locked. Good job I came prepared. <laughs> I pick more than my nose, my friend. Oh, wait! There's an alarm. Oh, that's new since last time. Oh, great. Now what? Well, I can disarm it if we can find the junction box. It's got to be around here somewhere. Why don't you follow the conduit?
There. That ought to do it. All right, we're in. Shit. I got him. There's the tower. Yeah, but we can only get to it from the roof, and we can't get to the roof from here. We're gonna have to make our way to the next courtyard, through that gate over there. Well, let's do it. <clears throat> We've got to get up to that balcony. We can climb the gate over here. Got it. Gece vardiyasında çalışmaktan Crap. nefret ediyorum. Haklısın abi. Hiçbir şey olmuyor. Bazen o kadar canım sıkılıyor ki uyanık kalmakta zorluk çekiyorum. <gülüyor> Müze kapalı. <gülüyor> Sweet dreams.
İşler nasıl bu aralar? Bugün hep iyi bir sessiz. Hello my dad. I'll go right. You go left. Orada. Hey, ne yapıyorsun burada? this up sneak right under whoa whoa not so fast there's another alarm ah oh, great you want to get this one wait here this courtyard to get onto the roof. Okay, I'll just let you do all the ass kicking, all right? Right. Head for the fountain. It's out. Damn it! 